Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system. x plus 1 over y is equal to 4 over 3 and y plus 1 over x is equal to 4. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. And we multiply equation 1 by equation 2. So this will become x plus 1 over y times y plus 1 over x is equal to 4 over 3 times 4. And this x times y will become x y and x times 1 over x will become plus x over x and this 1 over y times y will become plus y over y plus this 1 over y times 1 over x will become 1 over x times y is equal to 4 times 4 will become 16 divided by 3. Next x times y plus this x over x will become 1 plus this y over y will become 1 plus 1 over x times y is equal to 16 over 3 and x times y plus 1 plus 1 will become 2 plus 1 over x times y is equal to 16 over 3. We subtract 2 from both sides. So this uh, positive 2 will be cancelled out with this negative 2 and at left hand side we are left with the x times y plus uh, 1 over x times y is equal to we can write the denominator of uh, this to 1 and we take LCM of uh, this 3 and 1. LCM is 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times this 16 16 minus 3 divided by 1 is 3 3 times this to 6. Next x times y plus 1 over x times y is equal to 16 minus 6 will become 10 divided by 3. So we suppose that x times y is equal to t. So this equation will become t plus 1 over t is equal to 10 over 3. We can write the denominator of this t 1 and we take LCM of this 1 and t. LCM is t and t divided by 1 is t, t times this t, t squared plus t divided by t is 1, 1 times this one, 1 is equal to 10 over 3. And from here we use cross multiplication. We multiply this 3 by this t squared plus 1 and this 10 by this t. So this will become 3 times t squared plus 1 is equal to 10 times t. This 3 times t squared will become 3t squared and 3 times plus 1 will become plus 3 is equal to 10 times t and we move this uh, 10 times t to the left hand side. So this will become 3t squared minus 10 times t plus uh, 3 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is factorable we write this uh, 3t squared and we split this in negative 10 times t as a negative 9 times t minus 1 times t plus 3 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out 3 times t. In bracket left t minus 3. And from these two terms we can factor out negative 1. In bracket left t minus 3 is equal to 0. As you can see this expression t minus 3 is a common factor. So we factor out this t minus 
3 and in bracket left this 3 times t and this negative 1 in bracket left 3 times t minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression t minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression 3 times t minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 3 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to 1 over 3. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x times y is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, x times y is equal to t. So, when t is equal to 3, then this equation will become x times y is equal to 3. And when t is equal to 1 over 3, then this will become x times y is equal to 1 over 3. Now, we recall equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 is x plus 1 over y is equal to 4 over 3 and equation 2 is y plus 1 over x is equal to 4. Equation 1 is x plus 1 over y is equal to 4 over 3 and equation 2 is y plus 1 over x is equal to 4. First we simplify this equation. We can write the denominator of this x 1 and we take LCM of 1 and y. So, LCM is y and y divided by 1 is y times this x x y plus y divided by y is 1 1 time this one 1 is equal to 4 over 3 and we use cross multiplication so this will become 3 times x y 3 times x y plus 1 and this 4 times y will become 4 y so 3 times x y 3xy and 3 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 times y. We move this 4y to the left hand side and this 3 to the right hand side. So, this will become 3xy minus 4 times y is equal to negative 3. Let us call this equation equation 3 and in this equation we replace this xy with this 3. So, this will become 3 times 3 minus 4 times y is equal to negative 3 and 3 times 3 is 9 minus 4y is equal to negative 3. Subtract 9 from both sides. So, this will become this 9 will be considered with this negative y we are left with negative 4 times y is equal to negative 12 and if we divide both sides by negative 4 this implies that uh, y is equal to 3. Now, we put this value of y 3 in equation 2. So, this equation 2 will become 3 plus 1 over x is equal to 4 and we subtract 3 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and we are left with the 1 over x is equal to 1. And this implies that uh, x is equal to 1. So, we get the first pair of solutions uh, x is equal to 1 and uh, y is equal to 3. Now, in equation 3, we put this value of x, y. 1 over 3. So, this uh, equation 3 will become 3 times uh, 1 over 3 minus 4 times y is equal to negative 3. Now, this 3 will be considered with this 3 and we are left with the 1 minus 4 times y is equal to negative 3 
we subtract 1 from both sides so this get cancelled and we are left with negative 4 times y is equal to negative 4 this implies that uh, y is equal to 1 now we put this value of y 1 in equation 2 equation 2 is uh, y plus 1 over x is equal to 4 equation 2 is uh, y plus uh, 1 over x is equal to 4 we replace this y with this 1 so this will become 1 plus uh, 1 over x is equal to 4 now we subtract 1 from both sides so this get cancelled and we are left with 1 over x is equal to 3 and this implies that uh, x is equal to 1 over 3 so when y is equal to 1 then x is equal to 1 over 3 so the final set of uh, solutions of uh, x comma y is equal to first pair is uh, x is 1 and y is 3 so first pair is uh, 1 comma 3 and the second pair is uh, x is uh, 1 over 3 and y is uh, 1 so second pair is uh, 1 over 3 comma 1 